land. But now, turn against me, somebody can never walk with an underage, with my sister's underage and a support. I can no, never do that. I can never do that shit. I remember the life, the life history which we've come through. My dad wasn't with us. Only mom, mom was cooking a chapati, going to sell to the market, market center. Sometimes when the local government, they come, they throw them out. That day we could sleep hungry. We were sleeping in the one big, one big, uh, one big uh, grass touched house. Which rooms, there were many there. My dad was going, my dad wasn't there. My dad has went to play to die. <laughs> ah. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ian Tanyi, Senior 254. And uh, in case you are new here, guys, uh, consider by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you have stopped by accidentally, maybe you have come across this video for the first time. Guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Road to 2,000 subscribers. Today's video is on fire. Reaction back to back. No hiding anything. Because the way now our village is moving is like, what can I call it? For those who know the geography, there is that wind that is called deflation. Deflation of wind. Yeah, that make a hole in the ground that wind that comes with a very high energy that can make a hole in the ground that's how our village is spinning now after marwa has left with his own shagla bagla travels <laughs> he left the team been splitting themselves into two groups but anyway guys you have listened from sejo the traveler himself Sejo Media, I mean Sejo Media. He changed the name to Sejo Media. And I told you guys, uh, when it comes to reaction, does not really mean that uh, every day you will be talking negative about person, uh, a person or you'll be talking positive about him. For those who remember, well, there is a day that I, I reacted over Sejo. But today, this point of Sejo, I want to move with it because Sejo is speaking the truth. Sejo and uh, Pablo, they have exposed a uh, Burundian traveler for dating their niece. You know, <laughs> for real, I'm really, really wondering, guys. Since I've been in the village, for me personally, I've never interacted with uh, Burundian the traveler anywhere. I don't know. I don't think even he knows me because I, I used to see him. You know, Burundian travelers appears a big person on camera, but very small body size in reality. So, there is a day that I met him. He was just passing by. I was on a motorbike with him. He was walking down uh, on the road. I was like, is this now BT that these people usually talk about? But for me, I've never gained that interest of meeting those people who have a good number of uh, subscribers and they want to take advantage of their subscribers, advantage of their followers, advantage of their YouTube to misuse and mislead others. Why am I saying so? And what do I mean? For me, from what BT has done, from what Pablo KE, Pablo underscore KE is saying, from what Sejo, Sejo uh, the traveler, Sejo Media is saying, for me, I think... BT in one way or the other disrespected them because uh, it's very wrong whereby you walk with a friend you walk with a, a friend and you wind up want to marry or to take a, a girl from your family what that does one tells your family that you used to be you used to be involved in linking those two people because if BT could not be a good friend of Pablo if BT could not be a friend to Sejo he could not meet that niece now in this case Brundian the traveler 
disrespected Sedo and Pablo underscore KE. Totally. Very big disrespection. Why? Even take advantage of his followers. You know, these people, and I've been telling you guys, those people who have a good number of followers in the village, they think that they are everything. They are everything. And I'm telling them, YouTube is just a number. Number of followers. Imagine taking your phone and throwing it in the river. You throw it with all those subscribers. You don't remember the, uh, the password. Then uh, Brundia Traveler stands. Pablo K.E. stands. And uh, Sergio the Traveler stands. All of them throw their phones in the river. They forget about YouTube. Who will be Brundian Traveler in those two people? Nothing. So YouTube and subscrip subscribers, those are just... Uh, and having that number does not mean real does not does not really mean anything to me there is a day that my pope wanted to disrespect me and underrate me because he had uh, 4000 subscribers by that time i had uh, 200 subscribers we met him at my ventures shop there that my pope was talking to me like uh, i was like even what he's talking he cannot construct a sentence in english for more than 1 minute then he's underrating me. He's, I was like, these people. <laughs> you know, our village, our village, if, if these people are not going to be real, real keen, all intruders who have come to the village and they have a good number of subscribers, they are going to spoil our village totally. Now, how will the family of Sergio the Traveler how will the family of Pablo K.E. will take them? Because they are the one, they are the people who used to bring Brundian Traveler to their home. Now, how are they going to explain to their mothers? How are they going to explain to their wives? Brundian Traveler disrespected them totally, totally, totally. And the reason why these people maybe they are against, someone can ask, why are you against Brundian Traveler? Why don't you want Brundian Traveler maybe to date this a niece of Sergio the Traveler and Pablo K.E. Pablo underscore K.E. The reason why these people are against is that they are not sure if this guy is a serious guy. In case of anything, is he going to marry her? And when I say about in case of anything, in case they mess and the girl or the niece get her pregnant. Is Brunian the Traveler going to marry her? Those are the questions that are ringing on Pablo's head, on Sergio the Traveler's head, because they know him. He is a player. He is a user. He used people, he dumped them. He used Diana Kemi, very pretending. We call him baby, 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 until today. Now he has come and changed on camera and saying that she's my friend. What if he gave Diana came a kid and today he's calling her a friend. So that's what make Pablo and Sergio the traveler to speak out because you know it's like you working with I have friends for me. I have friends. Now I I I am working with my friend. I know the character of my friend. I know how we usually meet girls in the road and we look at them with my friend. And the same same friend of mine, he want to convince me that he can date my sister or he can date my niece and be with her in peaceful way. And I know his character. You know, that's what now uh, driving Sejo and Pablo crazy because they know that guy. Maybe there is some, they have gone even to party. They have passed in the road. They saw a girl passing. They looked at her, all of them. They know, they know Brundi and the Traveler better. So what makes them to feel, they are feeling like, is he real ready? You know, Brundial the Traveler, maybe he can start to say, why not me? Why are you complaining about me? I have money. I have built a house. I have a good number of YouTubers. I can take care of this girl. But what makes these people to complain is that in case of anything, because they know Brundial the Traveler is a user. And guys, I've been warning you. You know, our village, people... Uh, do what they 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 
they worship subscribe uh, they worship youtube too much when someone has 15 subscribers 15k 20k 30k you keep on respecting him too much you meet him you know it's nasto i don't know brundian traveler i don't grow your youtube the difference between you and brundian traveler is the time that brundian traveler opened a youtube and your time that you opened a youtube channel the difference between you and Ayam Marwa is that Ayam Marwa started a YouTube channel 2015 and you started a YouTube channel maybe last year. So, you don't expect to be the same. But when your time will reach, you will be at those 15k and those people will be at other people, at other point. So, these people of our village, they keep on respect and I'm wondering, you know, in, in, in Nairobi, <laughs> not, let me not talk about Nairobi. In our school, I'm staying, I'm studying with people who have 50k subscribers, 100k subscribers, but they sit beside me, we read, we study together, and they have never told me until people recognize them. You know this guy, this is the guy who usually do this and this. They don't even, they don't have a show off. They don't have a show off at all. Now these other people in the village, you know, when you tell them that, uh, you know, Burundian traveler uh is coming to visit you we make a video with him someone's feel good he will come in your home do everything you you give him a respect you introduce him you introduce him into your family in a way that even your sisters they will fall in love automatically <laughs> because you can't take me into your family telling them how how rich i am how i have succeeded you know and these people they go and stay on camera in, for example, you have vis you have uh, told that tomorrow uh, I'm coming at your home to visit you. And I have a good number of subscribers. Maybe I have uh, 25. Let me say, for example, I'm a Yugo Nona. You take me to your home. You, you have 1,000 subscribers or you have 2,000 subscribers. You take me into your family. Hmm. After taking me there, you go and introduce me with a high honor. You honor me like you know, you tell people, you tell our, your family, plus your sisters inside there, your niece and your wives. Eh? Not knowing that uh, minds, girls, they fall in love with uh, something pithy, small, small things. So you go and introduce them in your families, you know, saying that, you know, this is now Mayuguno. Uh, he's a YouTuber. He has 35K subscriber. And your sister is there just struggling with YouTube that has 30 subscribers. She's like, wow. He has built two mansions. He's now planning to buy a car. Do you, do you want to tell me that? At one point, that Mayuguno or any, that person that you have introduced into your family. I'm not meaning Mayuguno. I've given a, an example that you have introduced into your family. If tomorrow he will come back and try to tell your sister maybe come back tomorrow and get that you are not there and tell your sister can i have your number do you think that your sister is going to hesitate number one time because she knows this is a big youtuber as my brother told us as my uncle told us this is a big youtuber he has built a house he is earning this amount of money so let me give him a number from there we start to complain on our own. Who is the cause in this case? You are the cause. Who brought that people? Who brought that YouTuber? Who brought that man into your family? You are the cause. So in this case, uh, from my analysis, guys, uh, first, let us watch this video of Pablo. And you see what he's trying to explain to us. Because for Pablo, what have... Uh, 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 admired from Pablo is that uh, he has he is patience you know he has a patient he's a, a person who can wait for a something he does he does not ha he does not react very fast for me the first day that these people uh, could told me that Brundian traveler is working with your uh, or is dating with your niece hey believe me not this one hey unless Brundian traveler killed me that's when I could leave him but now Pablo he went systematically. He took these things. He wanted to investigate because uh, uh, Brundian Traveler is a friend to him uh, too. So you cannot harass and start to take things the way you want minus having an evidence. Watch this from Pablo. 
Hey, now, 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 someone, sorry, I was sent a screenshot. Hey, is this guy dating you, a niece? I'm like, are you serious? But he has never told me about that. So I started, like, I say, I think, I've been hearing these stories. I think it's true. But they're doing it still behind my back. One day I go there, I see my niece leave the house. I felt bad. I'm like, what kind of nonsense is this? I came back home. BT sent me a message like, brother, you're supposed to come, what happened? I told him I was a little bit busy. Still giving him time to come open and tell me. Because I wanted, now it reached a point that I wanted to sit him down on the table and we do the, the rules now. Because what I wanted to tell him is that, are you still dating? Because BT still has feelings for the decay. Don't lie. At the same time, he's dating my niece. So which is which? He should decide. That's what I wanted to do. But still, he never came up and, and on, uh, being honest with me. So the reason that stopped him even going back to the construction site, guys, I know most of you will come here saying, oh, what I want to say it so they can get out of my heart. I want to say it. We did travel to Nairobi. They are going to do their passports. You know who he's accompanied? My niece. I remember that day they are doing their passports. They asked me for my email address, so I'm part of the next of the kind. But I never told. He never told me that uh, he's doing the with my niece uh, the passports. And you know now, I had heard from my wife that uh, he said that no, I can't marry someone who's educated. No, if that, maybe after we married, maybe she can get because they'll be moving around with my girl like uh, we've been doing with the DK all that. You see. And knowingly that I'll be told that. I still felt bad, but never asked him. So when they went to Nairobi, uh, I linked them with a friend of mine. Then now when the process failed, and the process failed, the friend of mine even called me. He had uh, the, the issues with the birth certificate. They need to do this with names. I don't know what, what. He told me even that with your sister's daughter. You know, no, the friend of mine, but he's a brother of Maja, uh, brother of Maja he's a good friend of mine because we schooled together. I'm like, okay, I never wanted to be amazed, like that guy to know. In a few minutes, BT calls me. He forgets himself and told me that with Tracy, that's her name. Then I was like, you're Tracy? Uh, no, no, no. Then he brings another story, then hangs up. So before they left, I think there's a post that he had posted that uh, he's in the middle of nowhere, not going nowhere, he's so much stressed. This is how it started. The moment that BT is stressed up about something, he'll go ranting on social media, he'll post some funny, funny photos with some funny quotes. And I used to even to tell him, do not be posting those kind of quotes. At times they do hurt the people who are close to you. It hurts the people who watch us. Because you know this content, it's not, uh, we do co put content to entertain people, to make people happy, not to make them sad. Not to make our subscribers and viewers sad. Then if you're doing that, even I told you you're doing that, forget about that, that's no content, guys. So, they'd fallen out with a guy who's helping him to construct that house. Even the guy reached out to me, reached out to some YouTubers. You see, told me all the ordeal I Wow, guys, for me, I'm feeling what Pablo is feeling. You know what's paining Pablo? For you, other people will now stay to start to say, well, why are they not want, why are they don't want that uh, Burundian traveler to date Denise? For one, Denise, she's still schooling. Okay, because she's in university, that one might not be a big reason because she's, she's, uh, she's uh, over 18 years for me, as I know her. She's over 18 years. What pains Pablo, I'm feeling it also, is that the person who is trying to date the niece is the person who he brought. He is the one who brought him into, the, into that family. Pablo is the one who brought Brundian Traveler in. You know, if it could be another person, just another YouTuber, just normal, who has just tried to look for his own ways to get that girl, he, who could have used his own ways to date uh, the niece, that one I know it could not be could not pain those people too much because maybe it's the niece who has uh, fallen in love with that guy. But what pains Pablo? I'm feeling it because he is the one who introduced a uh, Burundian traveler into that home. 
that's what's paining if it could be for me for real i can't be working with you you call you call myself a friend then uh, you are doing the things that you are doing behind my back it's very very bad that one is a clear disrespecting you know so if he can do that to them he can't take twice he can't think he can't uh, think twice when he, he he can even he can even date now the, the their wives he can because that's now a devil you know what pain these people is that the guy that they used to work with the guy that they introduced in their family and i've told you guys be keen when you introduce uh, the, don't 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 worship the good the, don't worship subscribers that are uh, this guy has a good number of subscribers on youtube that's nothing in life nothing imagine youtube ends today between pablo and uh Grundian traveler who will be maybe if you take them to interview who will be chosen to be somewhere so youtube is youtube is nothing grow it with your own pace don't respect anyone don't obey don't worship people but because this one is nasto because this one is my yugno because this one is Burundian traveler he has a good number of subscribers nothing i for me if you, ne you have never realized i don't care whom you are on youtube i only care who you are in real life if this guy if i can call him to come and uh, help me to do one two three in my family when we have a problem Will he will he avail himself? Is this guy? If I can take him and put him in public to talk maybe to three to four people, he can give out a content. You know, is this guy? Those are the the things that I value with, and that's what I value Pablo with. Pablo is a a a, a guy who can advise you, and the advice makes sense to you. That I can respect him even if today I could have thirty k subscribers. And him have one key subscriber. I will respect him because he can tell me a sense, and that's how I grade those people in the village. And Burundi and Traveler, these are just a humble, uh, a humble advice that uh, when you are living in a new place, the way I'm living here in Nairobi, I can't just go. You know, these are ap apartments. Apartments have got boys who has their girlfriends. And we meet with all those girlfriends at one water point. So if I start to, 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 to text them, to tell them that I want you, you know, now I'm going to create a relationship in this apartment that everybody will hate, will hate me. And if everybody is hating you and everybody is complaining about you with the common, common uh, thing, then that one means you guy, you are living, you, you, don't have, you, you don't have a good relationship with the people around you. Like you, you know that you are new in Nyabuhansi. What you could do more than anything is to build friendship with all the villagers, with all the people who are around you. You know, those stories are now going, they are now going anywhere. They have now started to know your characters. They are not going to allow you to their families because of YouTube. Others are not going to allow you maybe to train their girls on how to do YouTube and whatever. The, the relationship with the people who are around you will end. And even the time that you have traveled out of the, the, your home, people will keep on stealing from you because you have a bad character. They don't love you. You need to be social. You know? You need to be social. Even if you are dating, date a person who is, a, who is far from you or who is far from that village or a person who you have decided maybe to marry. Not just to play with her and you leave her. You know? And that niece that you are playing with, she's maybe the firstborn of the family. Of that family of the maybe their sister. She's the one who they are looking after. Tomorrow you, you walk with her, you give her good life, you know that girls go with time, then after the time, you tell her, no, 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 now I'm not ready, I'm not in love with you, I'm just a friend. Know how to live with people, more so on the new village. This is for all people who came from, uh, who came from nowhere and came and settled in our village, calling themselves village boys, village girl. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is so and so. I'm from Nyabuhansi village. Our village is so cool. That's not our village, guys. The only person who is trying to to cover his face 
and to cover his character so that people cannot realize himself that he is he is but in reality he is selfish but he has a good relationship with the villagers you know he is selfish but has a good relationship with the villagers that is who mayugun mayuguno talks with everybody you cannot realize that he has a bad heart you cannot realize that uh, uh he, has, he, he cannot realize that uh, he is a bad-hearted guy. No. Mayuguno has a good heart outside, but very selfish inside. He wants him to be him. But that one is a good tactic. He has known how to live with people around. Everybody, every place that you pass, if Mayuguno starts to go to the river, you will hear the kids calling him, Mayuguno, because he's a comedian himself, and he has known how to interact with the people around him. But you, you are not a comedian. You are not supporting. You are instead now you are spoiling the girls in the village. You seen them, you know. Stop that. Stop that for sure. Stop that. Sejo and uh, Pablo underscore Ke. We appreciate because you have come out and expressed this as two men in the family. You know. Uh, in our village, people have that tense of uh, underrating a family because there is no boys there. You know, even at our home, there is that point that people used to you, people used to come. You know, we have a, a mango tree outside the the compound, just nearby. Someone just come from nowhere. He he go directly without asking anyone. He go and climb on that mango tree and start to take mangoes. When you ask her, she say that I'm just taking two or three of them. Who have you asked to give you these mangoes? That one came to look like these people are, are, are disrespecting this family because they think that uh, there is no person who can talk out. There is no person who can voice. They are doing things that we cannot do into their family. I asked those people. One day when I... Let me give you this story. One day when I grew up, I reached that uh, form 3. I started to feel like I'm now energetic. I'm fine, you know. My head now started to become to be tough. I, I now started to be tough. One day I've just I have just came from school. I found people have climbed on top of the tree. Imagine those are two women and one boy. They were taking mangoes, throwing down, throwing down. Then when I asked them, they told me that we were just take we were just passing by, and we saw like let us. Then something came to, into my mind that these people are thinking that because this family, we have, you know, when, when you are, grow, when, you know, poor family, they are the most humble family. I don't know whether you are to understand. When people are poor in the village, they usually talk in a humble way. They don't, but when you have cash, you talk badly. So I wanted to show these people that I can talk badly, I can chase you away. Even if we don't have cash. Because they have underrated so much our family. They think that now nobody can speak out. You know, I removed I removed my shoes. I went inside. I took my machete, my, my panga. Those people disappeared. And I told them, try and do something that you know that people can come into your home and do. And there is neighbors in the family. There is neighbors in our home where even if there is a, a fruit or an avocado fallen, down from the tree. You should not collect it without their consent. But for them, they just want to come into my family. They take mangoes without our consent and they think that there's nobody who will speak out. Thank you, Sergio and Pablo, for speaking out because you are the, thou the men of that family. You are the two men standing in that family. You are the, the voice of that family. You have to speak out. And that's what I did to those people. I tried to show them that and even today, they know when I'm around at our village, even you come with your cow. You imagine even people used to come into our compound, they tie the cow at the compound. The cow starts to graze there. They remove their their the the, the dirt is there, you know. They make compound dirt in the name of just in this family, nobody's going to speak. I assure you nowadays, when they know that I'm, I'm around 
or any other brother of mine because we are, we have now sat down we have now sat down and decided on if it's bad let it be bad nobody will come with no even a cow cannot pass a, 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 nearer our wall because they used to come and even tie a cow at our wall that's disrespecting the family you think that nobody is there who can speak nowadays if i get into village <laughs> even come into, into our home without appointment x that's disrespecting the family you know you need to go that's how even nairobi works i can't wake up and start to go to my friend's house without calling him i have to call him i tell him i'm coming are you ready to receive me then he say no nice so people have to build their voice in their families sejo and pablo should not allow those kinds of people in their family in the name of youtube in the name of subscribers i think even what they did to welcome jamaican uncle it's very wrong because we don't know the impact that will come because he was saying his good goodness the good things that he had done in front of your family so you don't know the impact that will bring you need to come out and speak for your family guys thank you very much say john pablo and brundian traveler you should stop this or else you will sell your house and go back where you came from because it's not must that you live in Mabuhans. That's when you know everybody's coming, starting to 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 build around, to build around. I want to stay around Amaro. Now Amaro is not there. He has gone with his own Shangalabagala uh, journey that he was calling it Shangalabagala. Now he has left the village. You people have started to do things that are against. And I told you those are now the impact of this YouTube. Disrespecting people. You know even. Uh, Maybe Pablo's uh, maybe education. Uh, let, let me not talk about maybe Pablo's educational level is very high than even though all those people, all those YouTubers who are around, but they are underrating him because of YouTube. That now Pablo has four thousand, I don't know thirty thousand subscribers. Me, I have fifteen. Pablo can't tell me anything because me, I'm a popo. I have five k. Pablo have three thousand. My uh, Maroc. Uh, uh, Pablo can't tell me anything. Not knowing that Pablo can address the public more than one hour. But ma, but Mapopo can't do that. Pablo can plan a deal and deal succeed. Pablo can know how to do things. But with them, they underrate someone because of subscriber. If someone underrate me, I'm coming in the village. If someone under, underrate me, <laughs> you'll get it as a police case. Me, I'm telling you, I, I usually tell someone, don't equalize me, don't, don't, don't equalize me with with you with you with those <laughs> those numbers of YouTube that you have. You just want to put it, you want to equalize me with you. I'm not, I'm not you, I'm not your class. Yeah. There is things that I can do, you can't do. There is things that Pablo can do, you can't do. You know that thing that my papa tried to disrespect me that i had 200 subscriber with them that time he was talking a very broken english that someone cannot even hear you know guys i don't know and then i told him uh can i make a video with you he told me no 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 you need to book appointment and look for me later and i was like this is a, a, a class four dropout I don't, I don't know a class two dropout and you just want to to take me lightly <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video until the end. Let me know down in the comment uh, what do you think about this video. Yantani Senior loves you so much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.